if they, they discovered that in France and England there uh, We at the National Gallery are very concerned with looking at the expansion of modernism around the world and how it changed as it traveled. Australia is a particularly interesting example of that because the Australian artists understood how they could use modernism very, very quickly and turned it to their own advantages, advantage in the course of just a few years. It was now uh, a moment when people knew in the future Australia, instead of being a set of colonies, would become a nation. And so the sense of national identity was increasingly in the forefront of people's minds. Uh, and this painting is about national self-consciousness. It's a very striking picture of um, Sydney Bay. Um, the colours are very different, the light is very different, but it sits remarkably well in our Impressionist room. And that set us thinking we should do something with the Australian Impressionists. And within a very short time, and with the great support of our Australian colleagues, we've been able to put together this beautiful exhibition. He was an Australian, but he painted in France. He conducted his whole artistic career in France. Nonetheless, he remained an Australian. He remained absolutely committed to sending back word of his work among the French avant-garde to his Australian artist friends. So he is in dialogue uh, with them, uh, but he is also bringing a kind of anarchic Australian energy to participating in the French avant-garde. This is not a, a kind of painting that's particularly well known uh, in this country, uh, but these are artists who are hugely admired, as you can imagine, in Australia itself. And their work is closely bound up with what we're familiar with from our own collections in this country. If you think of the work of Russell, for example, very closely connected to Van Gogh and to uh, Matisse and to Monet uh, in, in particular, or an artist like uh, Roberts, who is very interested in what the French were doing in the 1880s, um, that makes a lot of sense that we show it at the National Gallery.